One thing I like to do is to change up my play, send out mixed signals, so that I am hard to read over the course of a game. So sometimes I play tight and only bet on my good hands. Sometimes I play a bit loser, more aggressively. Then I will bluff a bit too. It depends on how good the other players are. But I like to mix up my game so other players find it hard to get a read on me. If you are dealt a good hand in the hole, one mistake a lot of amateur players make is not scaring off other players. They try to keep too many people in the hand. If I have good hole cards, then usually I try to make a reasonably big race before the flop. I hope to play heads up against one player rather than many players. If you get dealt a pair of aces at the start, then you don't want four people still in the hand on the flop as the chances of your aces being cracked is much higher with four people in the pot rather than with two players. Another important thing is to always remember how much you have to pay to see the flop. Sometimes I fold good hands if my opponent who has re-raised me is short stack but it will cost me more money to see the flop. Then if I win, I am only going to get a small pot. It isn't worth it. But say if it costs me only 3 big blinds to see a flop when my opponent has 80 big blinds or more, then it is much better value. Always evaluate the stack of your opponents and how much it will cost to possibly win his whole stack.